Bible has been preserved, I can tell you. Okay, there's many different versions of the Holy Bible. What's that, gangster? Should we lift up gangster music or God's word? Oh, no, no, no gangster music. Okay, Snoop Dogg is going to hell. Tupac is already in hell. Did Tupac obey God? One, amen. One God, one person. I agree, one person. Anybody has so much? Esau. No? Jesus Christ. But Esau means Jesus in Arabic. Whether or not they misunderstand what Esau said, it's still the same Jesus. That Esau is Jesus, is Yeshua, is Je Jesus in Greek, doesn't matter. Whether you have misunderstood what the real Jesus, the real man that walked on the earth claiming to be the Son of God, which means God in flesh. Okay? If you misunderstand what he asked you to do, you can read for yourself and find out. Okay? I left Christianity. How many people know that? I left Christianity. You know what? The Bible also describes. You got it. Exactly. She's right. Listen to the old days. Yes. And you know what? Why? Sister, sister, before you go, let me just explain something to you. You know why there's different versions? It's good to have different versions because we can read them all and see what is the same in all of them. And the same thing that was said in every version of the Bible is Jesus Christ said he was the Son of God. Jesus Christ was crucified under the Roman governor Pontius Pilate. And Jesus Christ rose again. And he said he was God again. Okay? If you read Revelation 17, the Catholic Church is the whore. That's what, the, that's what God says in His Word. And she, she is the whore and she has many harlots. It means, it means a spiritual whore. It doesn't mean... I'll read it to you. Here, hold on. I mean spiritual. Not a physical. Not a heart. Nick, Nick, Nick. Can you grab that from the brother? Okay, just hold it. I'm going to read it for you. One second.
God gave the Torah and the Gospels as a guidance for mankind. Surah 3 3. It is God's word. Who wants to hear God's word? I want to hear. I want to hear God's word. Calvin Klein. God touched my heart. He showed me all that's idolatry. This is believing. Worship of man This is believing. This is faith in action, ladies and gentlemen. That's perverted. Acts. You're mocking Allah. Why are you talking to people that don't know anything when you can't finish a conversation? Well, I've already finished the conversation. Okay. One question at a time. I said to be me. I didn't cut you off. Why did I not let you have the mic? And you made a point, right? Now let him answer. Well, who's, who's microphone is it? Okay, so if you want to preach yours, if you're so passionate, why don't you get your plenty own of, mic? Plenty of plenty of street corners. Well, you've been here for about 45 minutes arguing, right? There's other other young people that have questions too. You're not being very. Okay, so you want to make another question? Now. I didn't finish answering your question. Okay. It sounds like you're making more statements than questions. Okay, but guess what? Whether your word is true or not, the word of God is going to come to pass on your life. It doesn't matter. The Bible and God's word has always been preserved because even your Quran says in Surah 634 that Allah's word could never be corrupted. And Surah 3.3 says that God gave the Torah and the Injil in the past as a guidance for mankind. They are the books of truth. So you are being an ignorant Muslim if you don't study the Torah and the Gospel as a young person. And if you don't want to listen to me, that's up to you. One day, you're going to stand before Esau and you're going to remember everything you did in your life and God is going to judge you. And you could have gone to God's court with mercy that He provided by coming in the flesh and laying down His life for your sins and rising from the grave. No, it's not one word. We have many books of the Bible. And many and we have the Quran that's a legend in the world of God. We have lots of God's words. Can I be corrupt? Right. That means you have plenty different Bibles. That's what that means. That's not corrupted, brother. God's words. No, it isn't. Can I share with you something? And then you can go home and see if I'm right. You can go and study. Everything's on the internet. You can see it. Okay? The Catholic Church. 
Okay, after we had the original New Testament written in Greek in the first century, 470 AD. It doesn't matter, what? I thought I was just speaking, just coming out of nowhere. Awesome, right? So, we see that in the original Greek manuscripts of the disciples of Jesus. Can you, can you uh, maybe move the bag? The Bible says that he's slow to speak and quick to speak. You know why you have to? That's because it's getting crowded. Because God gave you two ears and one mouth. More listening than speaking. Shut up. You don't know what he's saying. You don't know what he's saying. Hey, you're doing more speaking. I'm going to be here all day. Okay, guys, is there going to be a dialogue, a conversation? Because if, if everybody yells at him, we're not going to get anywhere. Guess what? I, I chose to come down and preach about Easter. And you chose to come down and have fun.